Okay, welcome back to the channel guys, um, I'm Ian. Uh, welcome back to, at last, the Somerset Coalfields. Um, obviously we left off at uh, Dunkerton, um, which was cut short by, obviously, uh, the lockdown. Um, we're currently uh, going to be exploring Timsbury uh, for the next video. Now, I'm going to be uh, investigating the upper and lower, I think it's pronounced, Congri uh, collieries. Now, we're going to start off with the uh, lower, um, because on the upper they're building new houses. I've m I'm trying to get some video, there's still some stonework left there. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a look around here. I think there's an incline that used to go down from lower Congri, um, Colliery down towards uh, the Somersetshire Coal Canal, which was obviously replaced with the Camerton branch. Run, run, run! Okay, just looking up there, that is the, this is the route of the old tramway that went around to the Somerset Shear Coal Canal. Um, straight down here, and across that field, and then across another field. If you look at satellite image, you can still see uh, a scar on the landscape where it went. That was shut, I'm not, it shows up on a late 1800s map but um, it went across the road. But by the time 1900s, I think they'd built the new tramway to connect into the railway. Okay, here we are on the newer pink line. This is looking back up towards uh, lower Congri. I think it's Congri, sorry. If um, Colliery. Now, there's still a bit like R Rivington. Uh, there's still some of the old cable left that they dragged the wagons up with. Um, there's some down there. I think I saw some down in the down in the river there. There's loads of it just all around here. Now that went off down towards the railway. Now just to our left there, that's where we just walked. That, that is where the old uh, tramway was that went down to the Somerset Shear Coal Canal. Now obviously this ended up at the Somerset Shear Coal Canal, but later on it was replaced with the uh, Camerton Branch railway line that ran from Hallatro through to Limpley Stoke. Now there is a footpath that goes under the, the uh, incline here, we'll have a look at that now. Pitt was proposed by Major Savage in 1847 within the boundaries of the existing lease of Upper Congre. Work began on one shaft in 1848, with the sinking of the second delayed until 1851 due to a shortage of money. The winding shafts were 8 foot diameter to a depth of 1,128 feet. Being close to the coal canal, the tramway was laid in 1855-56 and used from 1859, soon after the first coal was brought to the bank. The two shafts each had a single cage and the winding engine situated between the two. The tramway ran down to the Lansell depot, which also had coke ovens, before completing the journey to the canal wharf. An interesting feature introduced in 1874 in an attempt at advancing coal getting methods was the employment of the very first coal cutting machine in Somerset, one of Firth's patents. It was set to work a 100 yard coal face and produce 50 tonnes of coal per 8 hour shift. It proved to be a failure. By the 1880s the shortcomings of the canal became more evident so the proprietors uh, decided to obtain sidings off the Great Western Railway to serve the pit. An underground connection was established between Upper and Lower Congre, which resulted in changes to the ventilation system. Following the geological problems encountered at Upper Congre, it was decided to close both pits for good in 1916, marking the end of mining in Timsbury.
Okay, um, here we are. We've just followed the drone up uh, the incline uh, towards the uh, colliery. Now, this is about the third time I've been out here trying to work out roughly in what orientation the colliery was. Now, I think I've got it now. Now, I thought the tramway went ahead of us just up to this area just there and along but looking at this this old picture um, of the uh, loading bay where they loaded the coal onto the wagons to come down to the incline now this is the new incline not the older one and um, the older incline went off that's the slag heap just went off on the other side of that there was a tramway that went on the slag heap obviously to get rid of the um, slag onto the onto the spoil heap now as we look at the as we looked at the photo of the loading bay we can see that the um, the loading bay is lower to the level of the colliery um, so obviously that was to tip obviously the smaller um, coal wagons into the the larger you know railway wagons now I think I found it now um, we don't bear just to our left where I just pointed out or sorry we don't bear off to the right where I just pointed out we bear off to the left through the trees and we are then lower than where the colliery was so what we do we'll walk along there because you can still see some of the old stonework um, we will bear in mind the pitch as well I'll show you that again um, as we're walking through there and then we'll go up to where the colliery was and work out where the two shafts were I looking at it I've worked out where the two shafts were and then you can kind of see roughly where the buildings were so let's follow this tramway that went up to where the loading um, platform was so I'll turn you around let's have a walk through these woods now this has been quite hard one actually it's taken me a while um, to get this video done because you'll look at a picture and you'll think well that's not the chimney that they mentioned that was ornate but I think they destroyed that and then they built another one, a more modern one. I'll show you that a bit later on. But So I'm thinking the tramway came in this way here. And as you can see, we're lower than where the colliery was. So the colliery was just up there. So the tramway comes round here. Um, you can see all stonework in here. So there's some stonework there. Some old stonework. I mean, perhaps it was wide in this, and people dumped. Been used as a dumping area. Like a lot of the colliers were. Uh, so yeah, this is where I'm pretty sure the um, loading platform was. Uh, I did see some more stonework. I just walked through and saw some more. So now we get into the area where the wagons were loaded. down there obviously you probably won't be able to see that on the camera but um there's some stonework here I mean a lot of this could have eroded away so we've got a big nice piece of stonework there I don't know if I can get up there I might have to go in from the top but there's some kind of metal there was that an old metal fence I'll try and get up there now Oh yeah, that's a substantial piece of concrete. There's a part there. That's just an old fence, I think. An old bit of fence. But uh, I honestly think this is the area of the loading bay. Now we're going to go uh, back towards where we've just come from. Then walk on from to the, the area where the colliery was. I'll try and go this way actually. Uh, see if I see any more. Um, oh, there's two horses in the field where the colliery was. So I think this is where 
on the picture, I'll show you the picture now, we've got that building. I think that um, was just here, because I'm going to show you where the sh I believe the shafts were now, and it, it kind of works out then. Okay, we're in the paddock where the uh, colliery was. Now, we've just walked where those stinging nettles is, and we've just walked along there. Now, that's where the loading platform was. Now, behind the loading platform, you can see the uh, gear winding from one of the shafts. Now, I believe, now the horses come to say hello, and I don't like horses. Do you know where the shaft was? Was it that one there? Yeah? Was it that there? Okay. So where this tree is here, I believe is where the left hand shaft was. You can see that in the picture um, behind the loading platform. Now, if you can see those clump of trees in the distance there, we'll walk over towards them. We'll keep the um, horses occupied for a, a few minutes. Now that is the right hand shaft. Now in between there uh, was a building. So sat in between, and there's quite a various buildings uh, in and around here. But so we, yeah. So that where that clump of trees is, we're saying is a right-hand shaft. I've got a picture to show you of that, but we'll get in the position where I think the picture was taken from, and you'll, it'll be a bit clearer. So I think that tree there is sat on the shaft that you can see behind the loading platform. Um, there's obviously a retaining wall uh, just along here. Now beyond these trees, there is an actual a quarry area. It's marked on a map as a quarry area. I have walked through there. There's not much to see. Um, but yeah, there's a little quarry area. So you can see the retain a retaining wall there. Now, this to me is the area of the, as we're looking from the uh, tramway or the incline towards the colliery. This is the right hand shaft. Okay, so where that her horse is, the one with the white uh, coat on, just beyond that is where the loading platform was, which was obviously further down from the level plane here, where the colliery was. That tree, um, that he's just going to walk past shortly uh, in the distance, um, that is the left-hand shaft, and this here is the right-hand shaft. Now, I'll show you a picture now. Um, this was taken um, roughly from this corner here, but above. We can't really get up there, there's too many trees now uh, to take a photo. But there was a building along here somewhere, it looked like a, looks like a little office of some description. It's got a big window. Um, so this is obviously shade now for the, for the horses. But you can see it's a nice little retaining room. I think the building could have been about here. Like there's a retaining wall all the way around. So, um, now this picture clearly shows the building just to our right here and straight ahead of us is what I believe is the right hand um, shaft now that's where those clump of trees are ahead of us as you can see those wagons and just ahead of us there beyond them tires that the horses jump over is where the incline is now obviously there was two different inclines we've just walked up the new one to see where the loading platform was now that one joined into the uh, Halatro to Camerton branch line, which then obviously went on to Limpley Stoke. But the old tramway went down to the left of that, across the slag heap, then down under a tunnel, under a road. There's nothing left of that. And um, on to the Somersetshire Coal Canal. Now that was obviously before the uh, railway was um, was built. Now that um, tramway, I'm not pretty sure. I'm not sure. I'll try and find out when they changed over. It's quite hard to tell. Basically, you're looking at um, side by side maps, which I'll put a link to in the description. And you have to go to different years, and you'll see when they stopped using it, and then the the new one was all of a sudden appears. Now with the old one. Um, they only disused part of it. Now the part where it went under the road and in a tunnel, 
they stopped it there and I, they put a um, land sale coal depot in. So basically still, you still had um, a tramway down towards the road where they would then unload the coal there, load it onto uh, land vehicles, or you could probably pull up and buy the coal there as well and take it off in your trucks and sell it to people. Now, looking at it, so we just stood over in that corner, just over there, looking out towards this clump of trees there, which is the right hand shaft. And we've got the incline behind us. Now the tree, just in the distance there, I think my finger's in the right place. If it's not, you can see the tree up there. That is the left hand shaft. And the original tramway went off in that direction down towards um, which would have been the Somersetshire Coal Canal then it was shortened it was shortened to just a, uh, a land sale depot for coal there was a tramway that went off roughly here and that went on to the spatch the spoil heap and that was to um, you know obviously get rid of all the spoil and uh, dump it there and then we had the the tramway which we're just seeing with the old you know they had the old cable on that went down to the railway line now lower congri uh, colliery uh, there was an accident here i'll put the date on the screen i can't exactly remember when it uh, what the date was there was um people killed um basically it was an explosion underground i'll give the details on a voiceover because I haven't got the stuff to uh, the information with me at the moment. This was just an off the cuff come and film, but yeah. So okay, so okay, so let's get ourselves. This is um, let's get ourselves orientated now, and um, I think we'll leave this this colliery alone then, and we'll move on to the upper colliery. So that's where the the new the newer um, incline tramway down to the railway was now we're going to turn so now we're looking at the area of the colliery the trees to uh, just there that is what we'll call that's the right hand what we've been calling the right hand shaft behind there was various buildings uh, there was a chimney behind there as well now I'm not 100% sure where the there was an ornate chimney that got demolished in 1910 now I think that was somewhere in that corner there um, but yeah I'm not 100% sure on that someone might know if you do leave a comment um, in the description I'll put a picture of it there's pictures on the uh, the Timsbury local uh, community website I'll put a link to that in the description as well now there was various buildings there's a big building in between the two shafts etc etc and then that tree just there that is uh, what we'll call the left hand um, shaft and to the left of that as we go a bit further the land drops off now where that land drops off there was a corrugated roof as with picture we saw and that was where the uh, wagons were loaded the newer incline that went down to the um, Camerton Branch uh, railway line and then off to where it went Limpley Stoke to join the main line uh, Great Western main line there all down to Hallatro where we were on earlier videos but yeah so this is low, lower Congre colliery absolutely nothing left now I think the only things that are left here is obviously the incline some cabling left on there and also the retaining wall at the back and the trees mark where the shafts were and that's all basically that's left um, there's nothing left we, there's nothing left of where the land depot was that's just a field now you can kind of like I showed earlier you can kind of see where on a scar on a land where the tramway went of the old one but yeah that's it so what we'll do now is we'll move on to upper Congre not much left there as I said uh, earlier um, they're building houses we did get a, I did manage to get some footage so I'll show you that now and then we'll move on and I'll give you some information there was an accident where we are now lower Congre um, I'll show you a there's a garden memorial garden in the actual village 
and then I'll give you the details of that accident. Basically, there was an explosion underground, and I think it was five or six people uh, were killed. But yeah, I'll give you them details very shortly. But yeah, so that's uh, that's it for this colliery at last. Hopefully, I won't be coming back. Um, I kind of got my head around it now. It's quite hard to get my head around it, but um, I think we're sorted now. So let's move on. Okay, just walking down to the memorial garden now in Timsbury. Um, this was set up or made for obviously coal miners who worked down the pit and those who died. Now, the incident I was on about earlier, I'll give you the details now whilst we're walking down. It'll be a voiceover so I get all the information right. Shall I speak? During the night shift on Wednesday the 6th of February 1895, there was an explosion which killed seven men and four horses. Nine men were below ground at the time. The seven killed were James Carter, age 41, John Cage, 36, George Harding, 50, Joseph Bridges, 57, John Keelan, 55, George Spearin, 73, and James Durham, 32. All the men were engaged in general repairs and maintenance. The two miners who escaped, George Flower and John Fear, happened to be working in a different part of the pit and was ventilated from a different source and so were cut off from the force of the explosion. The funeral of the five deceased took part at a joint service at St Mary's Church, Timsbury. The complete workforce of upper and lower Congree pits met at the Temperance Hall at 3.30pm and, and marched solemnly towards the churchyard. There were two theories to the explosion. The first was coal dust was ignited by the firing of a shot. The second was gas had escaped from a cavity within 30 yards of the firing point. However, the inquest on the 4th of March 1895 in the Temperance Hall concluded that the explosion was due to the firing of shot by James Carter in the through road. The nature of, the, of that explosion we are unable to explain. We wish to conclude that the management to be free from blame. What a surprise. It is worth remembering that there was no compensation for the families of those killed in the pit accidents. Many miners were members of the Friendly Society who might pay the cost of the funeral, but aside from this, the bereaved dependents would have to rely on parish handouts and help from family and friends. Okay, just beyond that wall, that is the upper Congre uh, spat wheel heap. So we're walking down towards where the colliery was now. Um, there's nothing left, <laughs> basically. They're building houses. Um, I did get some footage. It's not very good footage because I forgot to put the uh, camera on uh, steady mode. So it's a bit rough, but I'll show you that. I don't think I'll ever get in again. We'll walk down to this corner um, and have a look into where the colliery was. Roughly in, yeah, he's in there. You can see all the old, old stone work. So that's the batch there, um, where we looked. We'll see in a minute. The man in his office thinking, why is that man walking down the road talking to a camera? He says, I'm mad. I don't even think you can see where the stonework was, where the front of it was there. Just behind the bigger truck there. You can see that tipper truck. Just behind there is the stonework I got some footage of. Um, I'll show you that now. You can see where they've sealed off a tunnel. But that's all that's left, I'm afraid. Building houses. So people that buy them houses, they're sat on top of a colliery. 